Water is a renewable natural resource, meaning it can be replenished within your lifetime. Water can come in three different forms, solid, liquid, and gas. So how exactly does water move between these three forms? Let's go ahead and introduce the water cycle beginning with evaporation. Evaporation is when water in its liquid form transforms into a gas. In nature, large bodies of water, such as ponds and lakes, are most affected by this. Due to the sun's heat that it produces, these bodies of water begin to heat up, eventually turning into a gas form, which vaporizes into the atmosphere. As water vapor molecules come closer together, they form clouds. As clouds become more compact, this gas form transforms back into a liquid. This is known as condensation. As clouds become heavy with water, water molecules are eventually released. This is known as precipitation. Precipitation can come in one of four forms, rain, hail, snow, and sleet. Precipitation can fall in a variety of places. Snowpack on top of mountains is what is called accumulation. As snow begins to melt, it finds its quickest way down the mountain. This is runoff. As this water percolates through the soil, it leads into underground streams known as aquifers. Any water that is unable to percolate through the soil is collected into moving bodies of water known as streams, creeks, and rivers. You can call this collection. Plants also play an important role in our water cycle. As they uptake water through their roots and photosynthesize through the leaves, they release water vapor, which turns into a gas form. This is transpiration. The water vapor molecules then condense back into clouds, thus completing the water cycle. Now that you understand the water cycle, we want you to try this experiment back home. All you need is a plastic bag, a marker, some tape, and of course, some water. To begin, you are going to draw a sun in the left corner, clouds off to the side, the rain drops underneath, and a body of water at the bottom of the bag. Heat from the sun helps represent evaporation. Clouds are represented by condensation and the raindrops for precipitation. Water at the bottom is needed for the water cycle to take place. Now that you have water at the bottom of your bag and tape attached to the top, you are going to stick it to a window with direct sunlight. And within a few hours, you're gonna watch the water cycle magic happen.